What made your last keeper leave? Went mad, he did. Tall tales. Black and White has a certain atmosphere um, that I, I felt was needed for the, the, the movie, especially using this orthochromatic uh, filter, uh, which would emulate earlier f film stocks. Uh, there, it, it's, it has a kind of, of texture um, that is, you don't perceive in, in, in color. And, and, and the black and white would capture this musty, dusty, crusty, rusty world in a way that wouldn't be the same on, on color film. And additionally, it also is go always going to be bleak. Even if uh, our, our shooting schedule makes it so that, you know, Pattinson has to do some chores on a sunny day, that sunny day is going to feel bleak and not pleasant. And then, of course, the black and white helps uh, convey the past. Uh, I think for if it were not a 19th century movie, uh, that it wouldn't necessarily be needed, but because of 19th century photography, blah, 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 blah. blah. The aspect ratio, again, it does uh, transport us to the past, but also this, uh, this early sound aspect ratio that's even narrower than uh, you know, our, our two televisions used to be, is, is a very good format for these confined spaces and also something vertical like a lighthouse and also um, shooting close-ups of two of the best faces that have ever graced any screen. Daddy! Let Neptune strike ye dead, Winslow! It was miserable and punishing, and that's exactly why we chose the location that we chose, and... I'm glad about it. It was hard, but the Canadian crew, the the, the Nova Scotia crew, was incredible. Really, the, the 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 grips were were quite superhuman, and they concocted a lot of like fascinating rigs to get some some shots that many times were deemed impossible, and they sorted it out, sorted it out, and with like uh, sheer passion and physical strength, they they pulled off some amazing things.